know, I begged her to go to the police. She got physical? No. I've never seen her so scared. She just turned on me. Still, she's... Uh... Oh, you're acting as if she's sunning herself on a beach somewhere. Every time that phone rings... We think it's her. Or worse, it isn't her. And the founder and she... She's dead. You didn't see her, Lisa. Whatever you may think, I'd sooner she was in that prison with Debbie than out there on her own. You ever been in a prison? Quite a few, actually. Did you believe the story, Laurel? Yes. I'm just so angry with all of them. Trying to cover it up. How can they be so stupid? I mean, Jasmine should have known that we would stick up for her. Not the first time Debbie's hidden something from us. Yeah. And Laurel could be facing a court case and all. Why? We're not going to the police quick enough. Hello? Oh, right. Uh, we'll just get the keys of Mrs. Birch. Yes. OK, it's fine. Thanks. Bye. What if she kills herself? Doug's taken some leave. It's ridiculous the time that Lisa's got to be in tomorrow. <sighs> I must have missed Pollard went as far as flexi hours. I thought he'd just sack her. Oh, small mercies. Oh, and please don't pick on the vicar. Me? Yeah, I know you think that Jasmine's sort of... Oh, yeah. Getting off. Ah, just a bit. Yeah, but if they're right about her state of mind... That's their problem. She's the only one that can confirm Debbie's story. Maybe it's not just the vicar that should be praying for her, eh? So I said to him, I said...